What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you guys having a good week starting it off and everything. I know it's Tuesday, a little bit late for a video, trying to get stuff uh, done here. But, in case you guys haven't caught the news from uh, yesterday, I was going to put this out yesterday, but I already had a video coming out late. Fanatics reached a deal with the NBA and their players for trading cards. It's now complete. Panini is out of the picture. So let me pull up the article real quick here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, I saw this at first being posted all through Twitter. And I was like, well, I'm going to wait until something else becomes more official onto it. And, you know, I saw it hit the blowout forum, stuff like that. And this here pretty much uh, with what else I've seen confirms that they have the new licensing and uh, I guess the news came Monday morning. Oh, yeah, that's what it says right there. So, big turn events. We know the NFL has to be next. Tops now lost baseball. I mean, what what does that really mean for everything out there is the key thing. Had some interesting conversations on the phone, uh, especially from both either a distribution uh, way or just looking at it as a whole. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be is how Fanatics is going to distribute the product, whether it's going to be online through their website, because I could see them cutting out all the distribution chains along with even uh, Walmart and stuff like that for retail. I'm just really hoping that once they start this, they don't overproduce cards like it's been going on now. I mean, Panini already killed Select. So... Uh, that's one way I could see it going. Another way I could see it going is that they buy out Tops and Panini. And they do their own thing with each company, according to the thing. I mean, we bring back Bowman Baseball, Tops Chrome Football, and all the good stuff. Uh, lastly, I could see them saying we will rent it out in a way. And I don't know how the contract is, but kind of like subcontract it out. And throw upper deck in the mix to where they're making a ton of money back off of their exclusive deals. And then they'll probably get a kickback, a percentage of products sold and all that. But, you know, I guess only time will tell. Because baseball, if I recall right, it goes through Major League Baseball through 2026. But the Players Association thing is 2023. So there's a big gap in there. Don't know how that's going to unfold offhand, but at least we know we got at least good two years left of just what we call the norm. Uh, if you count, don't count this, what the current season stuff into it. But after that, we hit the unknown. And I know there's different opinions on to it. There are a lot of the newer collectors are all four fanatics doing it all, while a lot of the older collectors are like, man, I hate to see tops go. There's just a history behind it. And I can see it from both aspects. Uh, for me, time will tell, because there's a lot of different things I have to look at. And if you re remember Panini doing basketball, that was, what, 2012, I want to say, somewhere around there. But it took years for it to catch on. Now, granted, we didn't have that many collectors and all that stuff like we do now. But I, I think there's going to be a change, and depending on how that change is, it's going to depend on how the whole hobby as a whole responds to it. It could be good. It could be bad. As always, guys, a short video, short video today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, on to the whole thing. I am always enjoy reading through the comments and commenting back because I get to see different aspects of, you know, everybody's thought process i guess you could say in a way and it helps lead me like is there going to be hope later on i mean we're going to probably lose a chunk of collectors but are we going to gain more um with it because it, it, no matter what you do in life change is always hard to accept you're used to one way and i hate using the word complacent but we come become complacent in just what we know. It becomes a daily routine. 
Now, over the last two or three years, I can tell you there's been so many changes from the dis distribution side of the house that I've just been used to change after change. Now, this, this is a bigger change, of course, because what I thought were big changes back then are little compared to this. But, you know, I, I'm more just looking to see opinion, what everybody thinks of it. Are they going to still get into it? I mean, like I said in our other videos, I'm hoping they really control the population counts and this stuff and don't kill it and do six and seven versions of a product. Uh, you know, because I don't want to see... I don't know who the stars will be later on, the rookies. But, like, for example, Prism, you know, all of a sudden you got, I don't know, 30 variations of LaMelo Ball Prism rookie cards. Just base. No, I'm not even talking about autos. So it just starts making me think more and more into it. Um... Maybe people start going back into vintage. I have no idea. But like I said, leave some comments down there. I'm always curious what everybody's thinking because it helps me gain a good perspective on everything. Myself and Joey be live on uh, Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern with overtime. I'm sure we'll be hitting a lot about this, about the slab uh, thing that went on earlier and all that. So if you guys are around 11 p.m. Eastern on uh, Friday night, stop in for overtime. Always some good chats going on in there. And I'll tell you, I learned a lot in there. Especially when we hit the insurance thing with FedEx and everything out there. It really, I didn't know. And lo and behold, we had somebody work for FedEx, explained it all in there to us. So a lot of learning can be done into the uh, overtime as well, uh, just from people's experiences. And it just shows, you know, the different flow of information. It's not out there at all. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. I'm sure more stuff will be popping up this week in videos. Other than that, catch y'all later.